Good morning, beautiful people. Farm Girl here. And, you know, yesterday I put out my first video. And after examining it without even looking, because spirit prompted me to, to get me past fear. And, you know, I wasn't that great as happy with it, but I was happy with myself for being brave enough to put it out there. And, you know, strength, courage is what life's all about, taking chances. So I took a chance, and I'm going to continue to. So I understood that I really wasn't organized, and today I want to talk about grounding, being rooted and grounded um, in, our, in our soul, being grounded in ourselves. Um, grounding is very important because when you're grounded, you feel strong. You don't feel like you're going to fall down at the first, you know, little thing that comes along. The breeze that comes along, you know, a wind, a storm. You want to be strong enough to stand against a hurricane. And face it down. So, you know, I wasn't always a strong woman. I used to, I ain't going to talk about what I used to be, but I'm a spiritual woman and deeply connected to spirit. And so I want to say that I got a message from Archangel Michael that only over the last year has really helped me wonderfully. And it was to plant a seed of myself metaphysically deep in the earth. Now you ask, how can we do this? Well, everybody knows we have a quantum field now. I mean, it's no secret that there are things going on that a lot of people don't understand. But that quantum field is right here. It's called biz. We call it visualization. When you visualize things, it goes into the quantum field. So, what you want to do to get rooted is, and then I'm going to confirm with the cards after I give you the, the advice or the technique. It's not advice. You, know, you can do it. You cannot do it. I'm just telling you that as a spiritual being, it has helped me become stronger, braver, more courageous, and a deeper believer of life and life after death. In fact, I have seen the other side. So what we want to do is we want to plant a seed. So we want to see ourselves up here as this beautiful kernel curled up in a ball as a seed. And this is what I did. And I could see myself perfectly in my mind being a seed until I saw that seed, which it may have taken a couple days to visualize that seed clearly. Okay? So once you got that seed here in this quantum field, you know, and you visualize it, and you see it, then you want to push it down. Now we're going to start with our root chakra first, because it is grounding. You want to bring that seed from here and bring it all the way down through your body to pick up your essence. We're talking spirituality, right? And we're going to go down here to our feet. And when we get to our feet, you are going to see your energetic energy. Um, take that seed and push it deep into the earth. Yes, into the mother. Because we are looking to be given birth for our second time. But this time the mother earth will give birth to us. And through her giving birth to us, we will connect with her power. I'm going to draw a card now. 
for confirmation. Because when we connect with the power of the earth, then we become grounded. We don't fall over so easy. Who do you see? You see the greatest gardener in the universe. Seeds everywhere. See the moon seeds? You see her seeds? Yeah. This is where we're going when we begin to plant our seeds. Empress territory. Strength. Courage. Beauty. Power. Love of everything in the universe. No fear. Vulnerability. Beauty. Do you see the seed? Do you see it growing? This is where you want to put it in here. In the earth. Mother. Mama. We all want to be a great mother. We all want to be a great woman. We all want to be a great man. But mostly we want our divinity within us. To be strong. And we start by rooting it in the earth. Because I don't know a lot about engineering or anything like that or electricity. But I do know if you're not grounded, you don't fire. Right? No ground, no fire. No ground, no fire. Spiritual energy once it leaves the body and is not grounded, they're with us. They're still there, but they're watchers. While we're here on this earth is when we have the power of fire, movement, change. Okay? You get it, right? So we want to what? We want to ground ourselves into the earth. We want to use our root chakra right here and we want to see it and it's red and powerful yes in our mind in the quantum field of our mind and that's why meditation is so important now I don't believe in having to meditate for hours I don't believe in having to meditate what I think Meditation to me is study. I study these things like this. That's meditation. And then you think about it. And what do you believe and what do you feel? It's action. Meditation is for those who are receiving in, and that is good. But you can receive meditation through study, through just you know, just seeing something beautiful and rocking back and forth and shifting your energy. The thing is, is you want to get rooted on your spiritual journey and you want to root deep, deep into this earth because this is the energy everybody wants. This beautiful energy right here. And it comes from rooting your ground chakra. Many chakras do we have to go, but the first and main one is to get rooted so your tree, your kundalini tree that is in your body, that reaches the stars, can grow. You must grow your own tree. Now here's the meditation that comes, the watering. You planted your seed. It's deep in the earth. Now what does it need? It needs water. Love. So what do you do? Well, you got to love yourself to send it to that, to get that tree to grow. And you see the love coming down through your body. You feel it. You love your heart. You love yourself. You love your shine. You love your life. 
And then you take all of that and you go down your legs and to your feet. And you see that water pour into the earth towards your seed in a white light. You're the master of your garden. And we all want to grow into this. We all want to be her. You know, even in the male sense, you know, we need to grow our divine feminine. We need to grow our divine feminine. And we need to grow our divine male. A tree is male and female just like we are. We may be of a certain sex, but within us we carry both divinities. Trees are two sexes too. The trunks are male, the strong part, and the beautiful leaves and hair are the feminine. It's a beautiful thing. So I've got some stuff. We are metaphysical walking plants. I know you've heard that before. You're just an organic plant walking around without a root system. Well, no wonder we fall so easy. We have to create. We are co-creators with the universe. So we create our root system. And once we make our roots strong, like any beautiful, strong tree in the forest that's been taken care of, that's never, you know, it lasts forever. So the key is, is to get grounded, to love yourself, to make yourself stronger. Don't let no one else do that for you. You are your own master tree. Remember that. And just think of all the branches that will grow once you get grounded. You know that I'm saying the truth. I pray all y'all hear me. I want you to know I love you. Yesterday, I did my video as a Queen of Swords and I didn't know what I was doing. You could really tell it. I called on my Queen of Cups today, love the Empress. And I just want to show you guys how I got here. My confidence, my courage, my faith. I believe in God so strong that this message came from that place. Okay, guys. Let's clarify her, okay? <clears throat> Look at that, two arcanas right in a row, major. We've got the Empress and we've got strength. Yeah, that's growing a garden. Let's see what else. Oh my God, look, look at this. Is that confirmation? Can you believe me? I'm not gonna draw anymore. We don't need to. We got three major arcanas. God is confirming, the Spirit is confirming, Mother Earth is confirming, the angels are confirming. You know, your job is to love yourself and grow yourself strong. Right now, the winds of change, consciousness is shifting, energies are coming. Look at these energies. Don't you want to be that? Of course you do. I love you guys. I hope that everything works out. And I know it will. I hope you join me. Please like my channel. You know, I haven't given much explanation, but I've only just come off the streets from being homeless. Don't want no pity. I chose to be there. It was a part of my journey in order to know what it was like to be on the lowest end of the spectrum. Um, it was very important in my journey to be homeless. I was homeless for 10 years. I walked from Utah to Washington on back roads, hitchhiked. I had my dog, my husband. It was a wonderful journey. It was, we never did without anything. God protected us every step of the way. 
you know, either had a tent or a sleeping bag. People gave me food. People were so awesome. I learned to love humanity by being homeless in a panhandler. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you guys. I don't want to talk too much more about it. Please like my channel. Please subscribe. Please come back and see me. And know that I love you. And I'm rooting, rooting for you. Because I know you can do it. You have a great day. God bless you all. May the universe bless us with love, peace, compassion for ourselves first. And then when we find it in here. We got it to give to others, and that's the whole deal, baby. Okay. Remember, we're planting a garden. It doesn't take a lot to work in a garden. You just got to be willing to do it. I love you. Be your own garden. Come on. We want to bloom. Let's bloom. Have a great day. I'll be back.